This sixth round pick is going to be taking the league by storm. He's six foot three, one ninety five, runs a four three nine. He's a lot like Seattle star quarterback Tariq Woolen. If you haven't guessed it already, he plays for the New York Giants. His name is Trey Hawkins the third. And get used to this name because you're going to be seeing it everywhere. Now, if we look at some of his highlights, here, like the one against Jeff Smith, he's very aware of what route the receiver is running. He's able to just sniff it out, knock the ball away. You look at this one right here. I think this one's against David Sills again. Oh, David Sills. Once again, he's really good at recognizing that post route kind of or slant, and he's just using his length to knock the ball away. Here's another one where he's going against others, uh, rookie, fellow rookie Jalen Hyatt. It will just bat that ball away. Uses his length. He's a little behind it, but he uses his length to recover that play. Here's another one against Colin Johnson, where or Isaiah Hodges, where he just bats the ball away. One of our better receivers. And then you have this one where he's going against Jalen Hyatt once again. He's able just to. Use recovery speed and make causes an overthrow. So if you look at those plays, like we um, let me pull up the one where he's going against Jeff Smith, he's able just to recognize that route. As you just see him, just recognize this post route right here. He just sees it and then he recognizes it and he uses his length. And he's able just to either force an overthrow or just a bad throw in general, or he's able just to deflect it, which which is a good thing. So it's like it's not always about interceptions or you know, get a pick sixes. Sometimes it's about just being able to cover your receiver. A lot of time the Giants, like last year you saw in like when they would play Dallas, a lot of times CeeDee Lamb's just catching one on ones. You need guys to have length. The Dory Jackson's a good corner, but in Tennessee he wasn't really the outside guy. It was more of he played a lot of nickel corner and I think if Trey Hawkins keeps playing like this throughout the rest of preseason and showing up, showing off his skill set, I think he have a potential to have two rookie cornerbacks or going to be starters. One in Deontay Banks on the outside because he's six foot one, And then you have Trey Hawk at 6'3 on the other side. And then you have Vittori Jackson, your fast corner on the inside. I think this is a good thing that the Giants have two young corners that are going to be there for a while. And then there's Cordell Flott. But I don't know how to feel about Darnay Holmes getting a lot of Nicholas corner snaps. I think maybe it's just for depth reasons, but who knows. But I'm excited to see what Trey Hawkins could do in the preseason this Friday. And I think he's going to be good for us. I think he's going to be a steal of the draft. I think he's going to be, I don't, maybe he starts an overshot, but I think he's going to be a really good corner for us. I don't want to say anybody's going to be a star before they even play the snap in the NFL and they're in their six round pick. So, but he looks like he's going to be good. He has all the things you need. He's got the speed, size, length, and he's not that skinny and he can tackle. So, you know, and he got Deontay Banks on the other side. The only guy that's really been able to stop Jalen Hyatt is Trey Hawkins. The only guy that's been able to get past Jill, uh, Trey Hawkins is Jalen Hyatt. So I'm excited to see what's going to go on there because Trey Hawkins didn't really go to the best school. After, and I don't remember what school he went to, but it wasn't the best. But it was a D1 school, which is pretty good. But it still wasn't really the greatest school, you know, where you get recognition from. So maybe some people just don't ever get their never catch their stride until they get to the NFL. If like a good coach like Ryan Dable, Wink Martindale. If you look at Wink Martin, a lot of players he played with in Baltimore the year they had a lot of injuries. Their defense was able to still be good with all these like six round picks and stuff because he's a really good defensive coordinator and a really good coach. Because we have an elite coach and staff, you're able to turn these six round picks into like star players. Like kind of like how the Patriots were, were able to do that with their dynasty, and you see a lot of teams like the Chiefs and stuff. Like uh, I think Jerry Sneed was one. I don't know if he was like a third round pick, but he came at the be one of the star quarters of the league. So. If you can also see, like, Tariq Wollum, four, he was, like, a fourth or fifth round pick. He's now one of the star corners, and I appreciate sure the league interceptions last year. And a lot of people think he's compared to Sauce Garner, which he's not. But if you get a guy like that on your team, especially in the division we're in, we're going against A.J. Brown, C.D. Land, Terry McCorlin, Brendan Cooks, Devontae Smith, you're going to need two good corners on the team because if you don't see what happened last year, you were getting smoked by like 30 points by the Eagles and Dallas was close, but if we had those corners, we probably win games. So get excited for these young cornerbacks and Deontay Banks. Deontay Banks had a little bit of a struggling issue in training camp, but he's gotten better. You know, some there's growing pains rookie quarter, cornerbacks. Cornerback is probably at the top three hardest position to play in the NFL. It's such a hard position because you it's it's just you versus like receiver, and receiver has such an advantage because they have the routes or whatever. So it's like. If you're in main coverage, you got to recognize his routes. And if you've seen in the highlights, he was able to do that. So if you can translate that to a live game, I would be pretty excited for him. He reminds me a lot, like a DRC type of player too. Length, speed, and size. You want to have that in a corner. 
You don't want a guy that's gonna be like five foot nine. There was one guy, uh, Brett Grimes. I'm pretty sure his name was. Where you know he was really short, but he was able to still be a good corner. But it's not the best to have a short corner now because you can just throw one on one. So like a six five receiver, and it's most likely most of the time gonna be caught. But if you look at Legion of Boom too, it's like a lot of those players weren't even first. No, they all weren't first round picks. The uh, Chancellor Thomas and Sherman. Sherman was like a fourth round pick. I think. Donald Thomas was a second, and I think Cam Chancellor was like a fifth. So it's not, it's not always where the draft it's how they play. So the good coaching, with our good coaching staff, I think we could develop good players. So anyways, guys, th- let me know what you think of um, Trey Hawk as the third. If you think he is going to be a star corner, or think just, you know, above average or solid. So let me know if you think he's going to be a part of the future of the team, or, you know, this is just training camp hype. That's making him look better. Let me know in the comments. And if you guys want me to do live, um, I was thinking about doing live streams. Let me know. I put a poll up um, where, you know, you guys come on and we talk about, like, the Giants or whatever sport. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys for watching. Let's try to get the 200 subscribers. We're at 183, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So let's try to get there by, it doesn't even matter. As long as I get there, I'll just be happy. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.